Hey everyone, welcome back to Tins Tinker Time. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about the diamond painting that I unboxed in the last video. I'm going to do like a little how to and how I start and um, those things and then it'll just be a time lapse from there. So first of all, I'll just show you this again, the toolkit. So this is your drill pin. It's just this simple and there's like a hole in the bottom of this and that's what you use your wax for. So then you'll have your wax and your little boat. This is where you put the diamonds in here and I'll show you this here. So the first thing you see I did put the washi tape all around the outside to cover that excess glue. So I did that all the way around the painting. So the first thing we'll do is take our pen and our little pink wax here. And this has plastic on both sides. If I can get the other side. So it's just little plastic on both sides. You just pull the plastic up from the one side and you take this end of your pen. So just take the end of your pen and you push it down in there. For the very first one for a new pen, I will do it twice. So you see, I'm just pushing it down in there. Oh, and that just gathers the wax and this just picks up your diamonds for you. So for the very first time, I'll use two. It's a pen that I've used before. I'll usually only do one of those. So, and it depends on how often you need to replace your wax. I'll tell you, I, you get this stuff with every kit, at least you should get this with every diamond painting that you get. I have so much of this wax because you really don't use that much, but it is nice if you're using a multi-placer that will use up this wax a lot sooner than just using the single. For a small painting like this one, I mean, it's not very big. I, I'll just do the whole thing with my single placer. I find it easier. If it's larger painting or if you have a lot of area with just one color, that's when I usually will get out those multi-placers. I don't know if I have one close by to show you. You'll see one. Um, it's, an, it's just a white plastic, kind of will match this color here. This just this white plastic and it's got like sometimes you'll get a pen with the regular end and then you'll get a special placer or a multi-placer. You can get them that do three diamonds at a time, six diamonds, ten diamonds. I'm sure there are some others. So to get started, I'm just going to pull the plastic back a little bit. So I'm only exposing a small area at first. Now, this is up to you how you want to do it. Some people just start at number one and work their way down their list and they just do a section. I kind of look at what I've pulled back. What's the mo what's the symbol that jumps out at me? The first one I'm seeing is the C. So now I'm just going to find the C on my guide, which happens to be number 18. And remember, I do have all of my diamonds all boxed up here. So, number 18. So, I've got my diamonds. I don't normally do this over my painting. But I wanted you guys to see it. So, I just opened my box. I got my boat. I'll just dump some in there doesn't need to be a lot. If you're doing a large area, you can dump out more as you need them, or you can dump out more to begin with. And then you just kind of shake your tray a little bit and it catches those. So when you do that, it catches the diamonds and puts them in the little slots that are in the tray and it makes them easier to pick up because then they're facing up. So you see with that little bit of glue, I just pick up this one diamond. So 
So I got the one little diamond on there. And then I'm gonna start in the bottom corner and work up. Sometimes I'll start in the top corner and work my way down. For this one, I decided bottom corner was best. So you'll see what I'm doing. So I'm just picking up the diamond. So I got one of the diamonds picked up and I'm gonna find the C on here and just stick it on. And you just keep doing that. So anywhere that I have the little C symbol, get the diamond. And you can see why you don't pull a lot of plastic back at once because you don't want your hand like that. I don't want my hand getting in it. If I had like a long sleeve on or if I've got fuzz on my hand or just the oils from your hand will make that glue not stick anymore. So you don't want to pull back too much of the plastic right off the bat. And everybody has their own method. I like to do it this way. Um, some paintings will come with like a white covering on them. The white coverings are usually cut. So like for this size of painting, I would have like half and half. It would be split half and half. Those are nice because one, when you fold it up, you can crease it and just block off a little tiny square section. With this plastic clear covering, you don't have that as much. So it's not as easy to just do one little section and just have everything else blocked off. So with the clear, only pull back a little part that you're working on or you can cut it. I mean, whatever works for you. I just find that just peeling back a, a little bit as I need it works for me. And it gives me a little bit of a guideline, like do this section first and then move on. Um, some people like to go through it and do all of one color. So some, like if I started with this, I started with the C. I could just go through the whole painting and fill in all of the C symbols and then come back down and, you know, start with the next one. I find that's a lot. And then when you get so far, your plastic covering doesn't stick anymore because you don't have as many diamonds on there to hold it down. So I find by doing it by section is best. Just doing a little section at a time, doing all of the symbols in that section and then, you know, kind of moving on. So you see what I'm doing here? Just picking them up, putting them down. See if I can. So I'm picking this up. I got one on my pen. I'm finding a symbol that's a C. There's a couple up here. And you just stick it down. And repeat. That's all there is to it. These are super simple. I mean, it's not really complicated or anything. You don't have to count or anything like that. I know cross stitching gets a little... It gets to be a little much sometimes just trying to follow your pattern and count your stitches, make sure that you're doing what you can. This isn't that way. You just find the symbol and put your diamond on it. And if you put it in the wrong spot, it's really easy to just get a little pair of tweezers or even sometimes like, oh no, I didn't mean to put that C there. And I can just scoop it up with my end of my pen and put it where I actually wanted it to go. That's another nice thing about this. It's easy to fix a mistake if you accidentally put a diamond where it doesn't belong or if you drop a diamond or whatever might happen. It's an easy fix with some other product like that one. I accidentally had this one stuck here. You can just use your pen, scoot it over where you want it to go. That's all there is to it. All right, guys. 
I'm going to switch this over and just show you the time lapse of me completing this one. The video might be a little bit longer or I haven't decided yet. I think I might split it in two. So if you see part one, part two, I decided to split it so it wasn't so long. So I hope you guys enjoy this painting. I'm excited to get this one done. Enjoy the rest of the video.
Wow. Wow.